Were you there when it was a Dwight Freeney got the franchise tag? Were you in Indianapolis at that time? Yep, and he was pissed, too, when he got that franchise tag. <laughs> you talk about you know a guy who was uh, a huge meaning to a city and to a team. you get, you got to talk about Peyton Manning. And Jim Mercer slapped him up with the franchise tag uh, at, when he was with the Colts. And, you know, Ursay said that it's, uh, you know, we, we're working on a long-term contract. Nothing, you know, we, we haven't got anything solid yet. We're going to put him on the franchise tag to, you know, keep him here, whatever the, the case may be. Do you ever think that there's, especially in the case of Peyton Manning, because it seemed like Peyton was fine with it. Okay, I'm going to let you in on a little secret, okay? <laughs> this is oh, between yeah. you and I and no one else, okay? <laughs> Peyton it. wasn't okay with that. He was not okay with that. Um Peyton wanted to be the highest paid quarterback in the NFL, which he deserved. I mean, that's that's not like groundbreaking news. He wanted to be the highest paid quarterback and it came down to a, a million or two two million dollars of salary a year. And the Colts and him got into a behind the scenes it wasn't it wasn't a, it wasn't even a tip. They just got into a contract war over that two roughly two million dollars. And they basically said, Listen, Give us time to work this out, and we'll put a franchise tag on you. So in the meantime, Peyton being Peyton, which is Peyton's a gr- the, one of the greatest professionals I've ever been around, he was like, "Cool, this is not going to leak to the media because it's not it's not worth it. Like we're going to all be professional here, but I'm going to give you time to work this out." And they did work it out, but he wasn't happy about it either. I mean, you know, I mean, if if you deserve it, you deserve it. I mean, especially in a, in, a, in a game like the NFL, like. It's the most taxing on your body. You play the least amount of years, and the years you do play, it's multiplied the the physicalness and the. Okay, let me rewind. The years you do play, the the after effects of it are multiplied by, you know, you know, it's just multiplied compared to any other years you play in any other uh, major professional sport. So when it comes to money, it's 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 real. Like. And most people can't really understand that because when they read it in the newspaper, it's uh, ex or such and such athlete is holding out over one million or two million dollar more. When the team offered him thirty million dollars, he wanted thirty five million dollars or thirty two million dollars. It was like, listen, listen, that thir- that extra two or three or five million dollars is all I have guaranteed. So you better believe I'm a hold out for it because that extra two or three five million dollars is all I have to put into the bank or to put into investments for my family because at any time the team can say, you know what, we don't need your services anymore. Thank you, but no thank you. Goodbye, you know. So but back to your point, it, it, it really wasn't behind the scenes. You know, Peyton, Peyton wasn't necessarily all completely happy about that, but Peyton being the team player he is, was like, listen, this, we don't need to make this a public thing. You'll get to it when you get to it, but make sure you get to it. 